This is our herb crusted rack of lamb. On this dish, we have our rack of lamb served with a saffron potato puree, classic ratatouille, a little bit of a cured olive demi-glace, and the lamb is being finished with a little bit of Dijon mustard and an herb panko breadcrumb. So to get started, we're gonna salt and pepper both sides generously. I'll get a little bit of oil on my pan. As soon as I start to see that sheen, I know my pan's hot enough. I'm gonna go fat cap side down and allow that to start to render out. So I can see the smoke starting to build here. I'm gonna come back to that fat cap side, but I want to start to sear in this flavor and all those juices from the lamb. With a lamb rack like this, you want to make sure that you're giving a good sear on all sides of the lamb. This kind of crust is great for anything. I mean, you could put this on a macaroni and cheese and it would elevate it a bit. Here we use a panko breadcrumb, which is a Japanese style. It's much more coarse than a traditional Italian breadcrumb with a delicious flavor that'll tie together with all of our other components on the dish. This is one of my favorite parts of cooking the lamb rack, is when you sear that side, you can really see every part of the lamb. You see that nice can and that nice eye in there. You see the little cap underneath. I just think it's remarkable how much you can learn about the parts of an animal that you're, that you're cooking if you just pay attention while you do it. I'm gonna strain off some of this fat and oil before I add the butter. And I'm gonna just rest that right along the back. Add a few knobs of butter here. And just start to baste off that back knuckle. And I'm just trying to hit the butter right along those bones. And it's gonna naturally, you see it can naturally fall down right across the back of the ribs there. And at this point, I'm gonna brush just the top with a bit of Dijon. And after that, I'm gonna get our breadcrumbs on. And I'll be generous with this because before it goes into the oven, I'm gonna just give it a quick shake off. And that's exactly what you wanna see. First thing I wanna do is get my lamb sauce reduced a bit. We've taken some Kalamata olives and dried them out. And we'll add that to our red wine demi to kind of bring all these flavors together. So we want that to be just a touch thicker to be able to really coat the back of that spoon. So we'll let that work while we bring up our potato puree. Now I'm just gonna warm these up so they're ready to get on the plate once the lamb is finished in the oven. This is what your ratatouille is going to look like when it goes into the oven. So with our ratatouille in Hell's Kitchen, we have eggplant, yellow zucchini, green zucchini, and tomato. It's good to keep it on a little bit of parchment paper. This ring, it's metal, so it's a conductor of heat. So it just allows for easier assembly once it's ready to get on the plate. So I can see that the demi is about where it needs to be. We'll give a check on the lamb. See if we're at that mid-rare with a little bit of resting time. Ah, uh, yeah, that's feeling nice. So I'm gonna pull that out. So we'll slide it off the hot plate and allow that to rest. And in the meantime, we'll get the rest of our garnish together. We always start with our potato puree. And then we'll get our ratatouille on there. We'll come right underneath the parchment onto the plate right around 10, 11 o'clock and lift that up so it stays together. Put our fried basil garnish right on top of that ratatouille. The one thing you don't want to forget in Hell's Kitchen is the lamb sauce. Where's the lamb sauce? This is our herb crusted rack of lamb. Delicious. Hey guys, if this video made you hungry, we have more recipes on our YouTube channel. 
Check it out, click subscribe, and get cooking.